Hey everyone, Karnak here for another Star Wars Armada Explained. Today we're going to look at the Imperial Commander Moff Jerjerod. Uh, Moff Jerjerod is unique. If you look at the, uh, in front of his name there, you'll see a bullet point. It signifies that he's unique. You can only bring one of him in your fleet. He is faction specific for the Imperials only, uh, which you can see there next to his point cost, which is 23. And how do you know he's a commander? Well, he, you can see that he doesn't have any upgrade icon on his card. means he's a commander, uh, at least for as the definition for how Armada works. His card reads, During a friendly ship's determined course step, it may suffer one damage to change the first yaw value of its current speed to two until the end of its activation. Now, he doesn't have any clarifications or or facts or anything like that um and when you read his card he seems very straightforward and for 99 percent of the time he is there's a caveat uh interaction that we're going to cover uh after i d demonstrate his card that is going to require more explanation than than usually what we'll require so let's talk about how he works so when you activate a ship, in this situation we're going to use a Star Destroyer for the initial um, demonstration. Uh, let's say that this Star Destroyer is going at speed 3. Now he's already done his attack, um, he's already done uh, his attacks, you're getting into the movement step now, you've got the maneuver tool out, and you're determining where you want your ship to move with the movement tool. Now Star Destroyers, their yaw 1 at speed 3 is zero clicks and the only way you could move that yaw is if you spent a navigation dial to get the one movement otherwise at speed three he only gets one yaw click at two and one yaw click at three now <coughs> excuse me what does Moff Jerjerod do so if you did choose during the determined course step meaning when you have the maneuver tool out you want to suffer a damage. Now when you suffer that damage, you take it on one of the whole, whole zones of your choice. So um, in which case, if you suffered it on a whole zone that has shields, you know, you'd suffer, you know, let me go ahead and just set the default values on the ship real quick so I can get a full explanation going. Uh, you can suffer it on any one of the four zones that you want, front, sides, or rear. Now let's say your ship doesn't have any shields in the whole zone you declare you want to suffer that damage to. In which case, you don't have to suffer it to a shield zone. Uh, you can suffer it straight to hull. But you cannot take hull damage right off the bat. Okay, because when you apply a damage, any damage, it's always to a targeted specific hull zone. Which means you always suffer that damage first to any shields that are in that hull zone. And then, if you target that whole zone again and it has no shields, then you suffer that into whole. Okay? So you just can't take face down damage cards right off the bat. You have to ensure there's no shields there to suffer that damage first. I want to make sure it's clarifying that. So we've taken that damage. Uh, let's go ahead and say we'll, we'll take the one damage on the rear. So the Star Destroyer, you know, it goes from two shields to one. Now. You don't have to utilize a navigation dial to manipulate the first joint. You can automatically do either one or two yaw in either direction as you so desire. This means that a Star Destroyer at speed 3 can do some pretty crazy things. Like for example, typically a Star Destroyer, if he's traveling at speed 3, if he wanted to try to make as fast of a left-hand turn as he can on the left-hand side, something like this, that's about as far as he normally can turn left. But if you do Moff Jerjerod and you put a double click there and then you use your navigation dial um, to add an extra yaw on joint two, now your ship can do something like this. Which as you can see there, that's a much, much tighter turn radius than before. Or even if you wanted to leave that at the natural click of one and put this on two, that gives you a much more overall you know a more of a sharp turn to get your front and your ship turned around depending on what you're trying to accomplish uh, another thing that some players like to do is something like this you you turn an inside turn um, because again a star destroyer at speed three can make an inside turn maneuver like this 
Uh, let me go ahead and notch the uh, the tool so I can demonstrate that. And this can only this is only allowed at speed three. You can't do this at speed two because you see there you overlap the movement tool. But if you're going speed three, totally fine. You're totally clear. You can do something like that with Moff Jerdrod on a Star Destroyer. Uh, that really can <coughs> excuse me change your positioning of your ship. Um, another thing that some people like to do is maybe uh, you want your ship to go straight forward, but not, again, in its current position. Again, you can do something like that, you know, if you've got a, a navigation dial. Um, so you can do something crazy like this at speed three. And one, and two, and three. And now you're still going forward, but you kind of have moved that initial positioning from, from here to right there. And... Moff Jirajira just allows for some crazy, crazy things. Again, uh, in almost all situations, though, you you tap him the one time, he gives you that additional yaw value at that speed, and then that's it. Now, so for all intents and purposes of the video, that's the explanation. There's no other crazy interactions or anything else that needs to be gone over except for the following bit I'm about to go over. So in terms of rules explanations, that's Moff Jirajira. Now we're going to dive into something that I had to, <laughs> to go to the rules gurus, um, Ian Cross, who is the judge at Worlds, a couple other regional TOs, um, and uh, it, we just got done going into how all of this works specifically so far. Um, it's just the interdictor, but any Imperial ship that has engine techs, or whoop, an exhaust flip, talking specifically about how does Moff Jirajirod and engine techs work. So, so far, there's only three Imperial ships that can take engine techs. That's Interdictors, Arcadins, and Gladiators. Now, Arcadins and Gladiators, when they execute a speed one maneuver that engine techs gives them, they already have a natural yaw value of two at speed one. So there's no need to Moff Jirajirod. However, the Interdictor, which can take engine techs, um, it only has a yaw value of one at speed one. Let me bring out his card here. There we are. So we'll see there, all of his natural yaw clicks are just one at speed one or at speed two. So the interdictor, and this is gonna take some time to explain, so I'll go through it as best I can so you can understand. So Moff Jerdorod, read the timing of his card and understand what is going on. I'm gonna start off with the most basic interaction of Moff Jerdorod with the interdictor the most easiest one to understand. So, remember Moff Jerjerod is when you suffer the one damage to change the first yaw value of its current speed to two, it's the current speed that's on your speed dial. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is where we get into physical physical components and and things. And again, I just got we just got done confirming reviewing emails, discussions, and other things. So this has been essentially triple-checked by, uh, you know, lots of different judges, and this is what we are going with as the most correct assumption of the rules, unless FFG specifically states otherwise. Again, whatever your TO says, if you're at a tournament, go by whatever your TO says, but know that this was verified and backed up by judges of worlds, regionals, and other, you know, high-class championships for Star Wars Armada. So your speed dial. For example, if you have the speed dial of your interdictor set to speed 1, and you use Moff Jerjerod, he affects the current speed of your current speed dial. Alright? So you'll take the 1 damage from Moff Jerjerod, you'll do your speed 1 maneuver, so you're just going straight, so engine techs allows you to execute a speed one maneuver. This does not change the current speed, this current ship speed on your speed dial. Meaning that if you did, you know, uh, uh, use Moff Jerjerod to execute a speed one maneuver and you wanted that double yaw, you know, because it initially only gets the one. So say for whatever reason, um, you make that initial two there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it straightens there. Now, for engine techs, you don't need to suffer the damage again, because again, you've already utilized Moff Jerjerod to suffer the one damage for that current speed, which is speed one. Meaning that if you do decide to engine tech, you don't need to suffer a second damage. You can 
do the, the engine tech maneuver at yaw of two instead of just the one. Boom. All right, now it's back up. Now this is where things get a little bit more complicated. What about if your interdictor is traveling at speed two? So again, to go back, if you're going at speed one and you use Moff Jer Durab, you take the one damage, you have the yaw value at two, and if you do engine tech maneuver, again, you still have the yaw value at two. Now, if you're traveling at speed two and your speed dial is set to two, if you utilize Moff Jer Durab and take the one damage, you know, uh, interdictor has two shields, he takes the one damage, now he's down the one shield. Okay, so when he's doing his speed two maneuver, he can manipulate one, two, one, two, any direction. So we're gonna say he's gonna do something like this at speed two. One and two, boom. Now, if he decides to use engine techs, Engine Tech is a speed one maneuver. Moff Jerderod, when you utilized him, your ship is going at speed two. You're not, your speed dial is not set to speed one. Even though you're executing a speed one maneuver, he only affects the ship's current speed, which is the speed dial, which is set at two. Meaning that if you use Engine Techs, you cannot utilize the double yaw. Uh, at this time you only get the natural one yaw value just the one and you cannot suffer <coughs> excuse me you can't suffer a second damage at this juncture to to change that yaw again because again he only affects the ship's current speed your physical speed dial is still set to two your ship speed is still two that's the current speed okay so you cannot do a second damage to manipulate that again because that's a speed one maneuver and I know this sounds complicated I know it kind of sounds like I'm making stuff up but trust me this was the ruling because again Moff Jerjerod only affects the current speed which is two uh, the engine tax sets a temporary speed at one you can't you cannot uh, do it again so that is the interaction there so again, to briefly, to briefly cover, if you're traveling at speed one and you use Moff Jerderod, you can use Moff Jerderod in the initial maneuver and the engine tech maneuver. If you're traveling at speed two and you use Moff Jerderod, you can use him on the initial maneuver, but not the engine tech maneuver. Okay. And that is, again, confirmed, gone over by, by multitude of judges. And this goes into something really complicated about temporary speed, speed dial, ship speed, this, that, and the other thing. I'm trying to keep these videos simple. Um, if you really want a deep dive into all that, ask me in the comments. I'm not going to go over it in the video. It just would take way too long to explain all of that. Those are videos for in the future I'll get into. Now, if you did want to, um, <coughs> excuse me, if you did want to, uh, to utilize that engine tech maneuver, at speed two, this is what you would have to do. You would need your interdictor to be at speed one. You need to have a navigation dial. You would say, I'm utilizing Moff Jerderod to suffer one damage because Jerderod's trigger doesn't have a limitation on how many times you can trigger his ability. It just says during the determined, determined course step. So you can suffer the one damage at speed one, then use your navigation dial or navigation token to increase your speed to two and then also suffer a second damage at speed two so now you've essentially said you know I've triggered Moff Jerderod's ability at speed one and at speed two and I've suffered two damage for that now when you go to lock in if your ship is at speed two you can use the double and the one do that maneuver Boom and boom. Now, since you already took that damage when the ship was initially at speed one, now you can, during the engine tech, do the, the, the double instead of just the single. 
but that is the only time in the timing of that, that's the only time that's allowed. Um, and again, this only specifically involves just the interdictor at this point in time, uh, but that is the interaction between Moff Gergerod and Engine Tex and how that works, because again, to go over it one more time, he only affects whatever the current speed is, which is physically on your speed dial of that ship, um, and then you suffer damage, and then you execute that maneuver, and if you're using engine techs, if you want to be able to use that double yaw at the speed one, you needed to have suffered that damage not only at the speed one, uh, but if you'd gone speed two, you know, as mentioned, you need to suffer damage for each speed that you're wanting his ability to be able to be manipulated at. So again, I know it sounds convoluted. For a brand new player, a lot of this may not make a lot of sense, but that is the, the official rulings that would be given at a place like Worlds, according to the Worlds judge. Again, unless FFG comes out and releases an FAQ that specifically says otherwise or something different. Um, so this is just, this is not my personal interpretation or anything like that. Again, this was just like a half hour conversation I literally just got done having on Discord and reviewing otherwise. Um, so that is Moff Gergerod. Of course, if you feel like anything is, in raw, is wrong or an error, please be sure to leave a comment. If you're still confused about anything, leave, leave questions. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.